I'm here to tell you that James Weldon Johnson was born in June 17, 9, excuse me, 1871, and died June 26, 1938. He was an educator, lawyer, diplomat, songwriter, writer, anthropologist, poet, activist. His nationality was American, as he was quoted to state. Notable works include Lift Every Voice and Sing, The Autobiography of an Ex-Colored Man. Literary movement involved the Harlem Renaissance. So basically, you could tell him he was not a doctrinaire. <laughs> Today, I will attempt to interpret one of his many poems that he penned in his 67 years. The poem is his interpretation of a book of the Bible, Genesis, and it's based on that book. The title of his poetry is The Creation. And God stepped out on space, and he looked around and said, I am lonely. Let me make a world. And as far as the eye of God could see, darkness covered everything. Blacker than a hundred midnights down in the Cypress Swamp. Then God smiled, and the light broke. And the darkness rolled up on one side, and the light stood shining on the other. And God said, that's good. Then God reached out and took the light in his hands. And God rolled the light around in his hands until he made the sun. And as he set the sun ablazing in the heavens, and the light that he had left from making the sun, God gathered it up into a shining ball. He flung it against the darkness. Spangling the night with the moon and stars. Then down between the darkness and the light, he hurled the world. And God said, that's good. Then God himself stepped down. And the sun was on his right hand and the moon on his left hand. The stars were clustered around his head, and the earth was under his feet. And God walked, and where he trod, <coughs> his footsteps hauled the valleys out and bulged the mountains up. Then he stopped and looked and saw that the earth was hot and barren. So God stepped over the edge of the world and he spat out the seven seas. Just looked over there. He batted his eyes and a lightning flashed. He clapped his hands and the thunder rolled. And the waters above the earth came <coughs> down. The cool waters came down. Then the green grass sprouted, <coughs> and the little red flowers blossomed. The pine trees pointed its fingers to the heavens, and the oak tree spread out its arms. The lakes cuddled down in the hollows of the ground. And the rivers ran down to the sea. And God smiled again. <coughs> and the rainbow appeared and curled itself around his shoulders. Then God raised his arm and waved his hand over the sea and over the land. And he said, bring forth, bring forth. Quicker than God could drop his hand, fishes and fowls, and the beasts and birds swam the rivers and the seas, roamed the forests and the woods. 
and split the air with their wings. And God said, that's good. Then God walked around, and God looked around on all that he had made. He looked at his sun, and he looked at his moon, and he looked at his little stars. He looked at his world with all its living things. And God said, I'm lonely still. Then God sat down on the side of a hill where he could think. By a deep, wide river, he sat down with his head in his hands. God thought and thought. Till he thought, I'll make me a man. Up from the bed of the river, God scooped the clay. And by the bank of that river, he kneeled down. And there, the great God Almighty, who lit the sun and fixed it in the sky, who flung the stars to the most outmost corners of the night, who rounded the earth in the middle of his hand. This great God, like a mammy bending over her baby, kneeled down in the dust, toiling over a lump of clay, till he shaped it in his own image. Then, into it, he blew the breath of life. A man became a living soul. 